Okay, so hi, hello, what's up, and so on. I'm so sorry about poor light here because, yeah, of course, I'm not at my own, own home. I'm not going to tell you where I am, but I still hope that I'm in the planet Earth. So let me get straight to the point wh why I'm making this video. Six months ago, I made a video called My Life Has Changed. So I just want to tell you that what has been going on with my illness. If you don't already know, I was discovered exactly a year ago where, when I was uploading this video. I was discovered with a rare type of cancer and it's uncurable at this point. It has been affecting my life just a little bit. I can't go to school or I can't go to the work because of that. I can't exercise my ultimate goal. I wanted to be a professional bo bo boxer. <laughs> professional boxer. But yeah, that's not possible anymore or never in my life. I don't know. I really hope that I could, but we don't know. We don't know that. Let me tell you the new ones. So the new ones are uh, from there to there. This bone here on both of my arms. Then I have on my hip to my knee those bones of my legs. I don't remember that name either. I'm so bad at English. That they are full of cancer cells. It's so annoying and that doctor that was supposed to tell me this news that it has been spreading, she did not say anything to me and that fucking sucks. I don't know, I don't understand that why she did not tell me how it is. Even though I know it sucks bringing bad news, but still, just say to me, it's my body, it's my life, I'm... Last time that I checked, I need and I have to know that it, what is going on with my, with and in my body. So I need, I can be more careful. Why? Why are you telling me? My medication, it has been changed. I, for now, I get my medication straight to the veins, my blood veins. You can see like, like this thing, that's where the needle was. I have so so small veins and it's really fucking difficult to put anything, any needle there. Uh, last time when I was, I needed to get the pictures done with my body, I was stabbed for 15 times before they got needle into my veins and it lasted an hour and I cried so much and it hurted like hell. During the spring, I did not have that much pains going on, and I'm thankful for that. But right now, during the summer and at the fall, it has been getting worse. I need to take the double um, painkillers most of the time. And right now, actually, I feel like that I have been drinking for whole, this whole morning. I feel like that. This medication, I really hope that it's going to work, because this is the last thing, last medication that is known that it will help most of the people. After this, if this doesn't work, I don't know, it's all testing after that and I get to be the rabbit for medication. But I have a good feeling about this. I, I'm full of hope. And that medication, that causes my hair to fall off. This is not my real hair, this is a wig. I mean, not just this hair, but from whole my body. Everything, every single hair will fall off at some point. It has already started to fall my legs. So they are a lot smoother right now than they were. So yeah, at least I don't have to shave. Yes. Yesterday when I went to the shower and I got out of there, I noticed that my whole, this chest area, and it was covered with my hair. But my real hair, it's about this long maybe. I'm so happy that I decided that when my I will take my hair down. Not the cancer, but me. Right now my hair is actually itching. If you don't mind, I want to take the wig off because it hurts. It feels like there is somebody is stepping like needles to my scalp. I'll take this off. If you can see, there is like some bald spots already. I think this look suits good on me also. I don't, I don't mind that much, to be honest.
I have honestly more than I don't even I can't count. I have thought many many times about just ending this all, but but I have not done anything to harm myself. Life is worth living. I just could not do to myself or to my closest ones. I could not do that. I'm not a selfish person. I don't want to die. I want to live as long as I can. I want to be happy and live my life. Even though I can't anymore to do boxing or go to the... Like, I can't exercise that much that I used to do. Like, I used to... Even six days of week I used to do sports. I was kind of fit. I still do have a great ass, but not anymore that, that great like it used to be because I used to work out that much. But that I am actually a stronger pers per better person than I thought mentally. I saw that I was so weak, but I, I was not that weak. I have been growing as a human being. I have been getting more confidence. I used to be a strong person physically, but not that strong mentally. Now those tables have been turned and I'm strong person phys mentally, but not so much physically anymore. I still have something, something I have still left. <laughs> I, I want to live, I want to live so old. I want to have family at some point, I want to be mom, I want to have a husband, I want to have a house, I want to have a baby, a child, I want to grow old with my man, I want to live happily, yeah, I, I, I really want that. Uh, and also I have been learning that I need to be selfish at some point, just healthy amount of shellfish selfish shellfish self before this whole thing i was putting everybody else before myself i did not take care of myself that well physically i did good job but not mentally right now i this only thing that i need to be worried about i can't take care of my friends that much i do i still do but not that much like i used to do I lost a couple of friends during this year, but that was my choice. I did not want to be those people because they were affecting and dragging me down constantly. I don't want to be th with those people because they are so toxic. To <laughs> toxic. That's not good for me. I'm so much more happier without those people. For everybody, I want to say this. From human being, you are another human being. If you have around yourself those people who constantly drag you down or they are affecting your life negatively. Just get rid of those people. They are nothing. You are so much more worse than those people. So just get rid of those people. Yeah, simple as that. Do yourself a favor if you love yourself. I guarantee that you will be so much more happier yeah. I just want I want to bring happiness. I want to I, I want to be happy. I want to everybody else be happy. I want to make people laugh. If I'm positive, there is a chance to me to get cured. I have been realizing that your own mindset controls that how do you feel For all of those people that I have been meeting up during this year, I am so thankful I have been getting new friends, I have been in a relationship, I have been through a breakup, but I'm not mad about it, no. It has been making me stronger, it has been growing me as a human. I have learned a lot. I am thankful for my friends, my family, even strangers, doctors, nurses, everybody that having some effect on me. And especially I am so thankful and I'm happy about that you are here watching my videos and commenting or liking or not or even just watching those people who comment. You honestly, you are an awesome because let me tell you why. This is the internet. You could be anything that you want. Most people decide to be an asshole, but you have decided I am completely stranger to you. You are stranger to me. You, you know more about me than I know 
about you. And that's totally fine. But you have decided to <laughs> say some funny things. I really wish that I could get more comments because I love reading comments. It honestly has been cheering me up. And whenever I feel sad... Just a second, somebody's at the door. What I was saying, honestly, <laughs> this is a little bit weird because my friend just came and he's behind that wall. It's a little bit weird because usually I'm talking to myself in the room for many hours. <laughs> I'm super... Sorry, shut up. I'm super, super, super thankful and happy that you guys keep commenting and watching my streams. Even though I have not been streaming for a month maybe, I really need to get back to the streaming. There is some things now going on that I need to put before streaming. Right now, I'm so happy. I got people around me that care. So that was my video and yeah, just if you have any questions, just ask and all of the links are down below. And yeah, I'll see you on the next time. Bye bye!